Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays, Real Talk with a Real Tour. I'm Sharice Wen, also known as the Agent Lady. And today we are going to talk about building credit. So why do you need credit? Well, if you would like to buy a house, you need credit. So buying a car is actually a lot easier than buying a house. You can have next to no credit, jacked up credit, and still get a really nice car. Unfortunately, when buying a house, you need to build your credit. They want to see a credit score. Um, the max and the way they measure it, measure credit is a credit score. So the max is 850. Um, the closer you can get to that number, the better. But don't be alarmed. A lot of people don't have 850. Um, you can get a mortgage 600, 620 or even below that. But with that, you would have you'd be paying higher interest for that home. So a good number. I say 700, shoot for 700 or above. I mean, honestly, if you can get to 850, go for it. But 700, around 700 credit score, you'd be in pretty good shape. Um, so a lot of people think that maybe just having a cell phone or, you know, having some utilities in their name and just paying cash for everything is going to help them build their credit score. Unfortunately, it's not. Folks, you need to play the game. And how do you play the game? Well, in the world of credit cards, you need to get a credit card. You need to play that game. Um, I know I was approached in college and luckily enough, I was, um, I guess, responsible. And I started playing the game of building credit. Um, in order to do that, you know, use it for basic things, get used to using it, buy some groceries, get some gas, but pay it off in that thir within that 30 days. Matter of fact, you can use your credit card and then automatically just turn around and pay it. But right now you're just trying to build and the more they see that you're using it, the, the more you can grow that, that, um, that credit card that they gave you, that max. So maybe you started off with, I don't know, $500. And as they, as they see you be responsible and you continue to use it and you pay it off, then you can build that to $1,000. You can build that to $2,000. So those are very important. Um, that's very important to do. And if, you know, you're feeling uncomfortable with getting a regular credit card, you can always start off with a secured credit card. What is a secured credit card? It is um, a credit card that you get from your bank and pretty much you're using your own cash as collateral. So you're spending your own money. So that is a good way to start off building your credit. Another thing you can actually do is um, be an added user to maybe your parents' credit card without, without them actually giving you a credit card. Um, that can indirectly build your credit because of what they already established. So there's different ways you can do this, but I, um, I say start now, start as young as possible so you can have that awesome credit score and be ready to buy a house and not even have to think about that aspect of it when you're ready. So I know that was a lot. And if you have any more questions, you can definitely reach out. And remember, friends don't let friends buy or sell real estate without the agent lady. Make it a great day, guys.